What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection WWE Shop Exclusive The Hardy Boys. Really really happy I finally have these guys in hand. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get these guys open up, and then we'll go on to the rest of the review. So sit tight everyone. So here we have Matt and Jeff Hardy posing out of the packaging. Now unfortunately they don't come with any accessories. Which is a little bit of a bummer because I was expecting being exclusive figures they do come with accessories. But with that out of the way let's actually have a closer look at the figures. And here we have a closer look at Matt Hardy and I have to say it is a really good likeness to Matt Hardy. From this side it looks like Matt Hardy. From a front view it looks like Matt Hardy. So overall they did a really good job capturing Matt's profile although if you have previous Matt Hardys in the past, I'm talking like from the very beginning of the Elite series, I'm pretty sure this is a reused head sculpt. Uh, one problem I do have with it is that the head and ponytail are one solid piece. That means that this ponytail is going to be prone to breaking if you try to stretch it out too far, so be aware of that. But I think they did a good job capturing Matt's likeness here. He is wearing black elbow pads and has the white wrist tape or wristbands whatever you want to call them not wearing a shirt which is a little unfortunate kind of wish he came with something his belt is white and you can see it does have the studs painted on on mine it does have a little error right here on the back as well as right here on the pants or back here on the pockets but for what it is i think the studs are painted well and the pockets are done really cleanly for the most part and you can just see how much detail is in Matt Hardy's pants. You can see it has the skull painted really well. That actually looks like a Punisher skull. And if I'm not mistaken, let's move his leg. It is. It's a Punisher skull. That's really interesting that they managed to do that. So really liking that. Uh, they didn't have to do that, but it does look really nice. And we have all these skulls going throughout his pants which look really nice and then we get to his black boots which there's nothing special about his boots but they still look really nice so that's Matt Hardy so let's actually move on to brother Jeff and then we'll compare them to compare the two together so sit tight everyone and so here we have a closer look at Jeff Hardy now I do want to point out that on mine he does have that little blemish right there from the paint and unfortunately I haven't been able to get that off I have tried clear nail polish, but that hasn't been working, so I don't know what more I have to do. Maybe paint over that, but we'll see. Overall, I still think this is a really good likeness to Jeff Hardy. It's the older Jeff Hardy, which I'm more of a fan of the younger Jeff Hardy. Like all the crazy hair colors that he had, but it's still really good. And I believe this is just a reissue from... The head is at least a re retooling from the... Elite Series 1 Jeff, which was never released, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we are getting more Jeff Hardys now, which I am happy about. One problem I do have is that they painted over the tank top body. Um, I don't know why they didn't just tool a new torso to have the sleeves and go all the way up to the neck. From a distance you can't notice it, but up close you can obviously tell that that is a tank top torso. He has these aqua sleeves running down all the way to his fingers, which look really nice. And they even have the fingernail polish on them, so that's really cool. We have his studded belt, which is the same aqua color as his sleeves. Again, did a very good job with that. I'm not complaining about that. And then we get the straight black pants for Jeff Hardy, along with the white kick pads so overall it's a really good figure so let's actually compare the Hardys to a few other figures really fast and here we have Matt and Jeff pose next to the Dudleys and Edge and Christian I have to say it's been a long time coming been waiting to be able to complete these guys now all we need are classic elites of all of them I know we got a classic Edge and Christian but that's just me wishful thinking right now but Matt, and Hardy, Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy have done really well, and they do share the same articulation. So if you're not sure what that is, let's actually move Matt to the back so we can have a closer look at Jeff Hardy. They both do have a ball joint ahead. They can both look up. They can both look down. They both have head tilt, which goes side to side. Works really well on both of them. On my Jeff Hardy, I have this issue that I have with Roddy Piper and AJ Styles that the arm rotates 
perfectly okay going that way. But as soon as I try rotating it this way, and it doesn't do it on camera, I was having issues where it wouldn't go past this point and I was worried I would shred the peg, but obviously I don't have that problem anymore and of course it happens on camera. But they both rotate, go out to about that far. Rotation and the bicep single jointed at the elbow spins and bends at the wrist, no issues there. Jeff Hardy can go back, not too far. I think, no, they both go back and forward about the same. So that's pretty good. They both have waist swivel. Legs go forward to about there. They go back out to about there. We have a mid sw a thigh swivel. They're both double jointed in the knee, which works really well. No boot swivel, but we do ro have boot ro or shoe rotation. We have a ball joint, actually, so that works really well. You can go forward, back, side to side. And then we also do have rocker ankle on them, so that's really good. So that's the hardies for you guys. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get on posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Matt and Jeff posed for my final thoughts overall. It's a really nice set, and I'm really happy to have the Hardy Boys in hand. Unfortunately, this set is exclusive to www.shop.com, so if you haven't already bought these guys, I really recommend you do it. It's no telling how long it's going to be before these guys sell out. Matt and Jeff are going for about $40 for the set. It is a little pricey because we are getting two elite figures, which is normally $20, but they don't come with any accessories. They should have honestly come with laddies because who better to represent the ladder match than the Hardys. But other than that, it's a really nice set. And if you're lucky enough, like I was, I actually got $10 off using two different coupons, which was really good. And I'm really happy that I got these guys for $30. If you can get these guys, I really recommend you do not pass on this, especially if you're a fan of Man and Jeff like I am. These guys were pivotal for my childhood. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Do not forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as my WWE videos. Maybe there's something you'll enjoy. As always, let me know if there's a figure you would like to see me review, and if I have room for it in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.